Well, it looks like our superfood fudge is just about gone. Three pieces left. That's an emergency. So we have to make some more. Uh, what does it consist of? Well, six ingredients, I believe. Um, first, you have the coconut oil that we use right there. Real good stuff. Um, I'm going to take this. I already scooped some out. Have it in a frying pan here. I'm going to go stick this on the stove. You don't have to look this way. I'll just stick it here. You turn it to about medium heat. You just want it to just want it to liquefy. You don't want it getting hot. You want to bring it to a really high temperature because it'll hurt the a lot of the nutritional benefits in these other things we're going to use. Another thing we use is pure vanilla extract. Okay, this is a brand that we like and uh, works pretty good. Then you need um, peanut butter, which uh, is not mild salsa like I showed in the other thing there. We make our own peanut butter. Just got done making some here with our Vitamix blender. It's an older Vitamix blender. These are really expensive brand new but you can find them on eBay for you know two hundred dollars or less many times and um, it's a lot of money but again you can make your own food with it. Um, it's really good to have around. Uh, why wouldn't you want to buy store-bought peanut butter? Well hydrogenated um, oils in the peanut butter uh, a lot of times they're made with genetic engineering, the peanuts and things. They'll have natural flavors, they'll put high fructose corn syrup in it. They put a lot of junk in the um, you know, in the peanut butter at the store. With this, all you gotta do is you just basically get a thing of peanuts, make sure it doesn't say partially produced with genetic engineering or whatever else on it with the ingredients. But you just get some regular peanuts. Um, these are slightly salted, the sea salt, so not a big deal, salted or unsalted. Um, pour them into your Vitamix blender, blend it up, and we always like to blend it kind of into a smooth consistency. Right there, you can see, like that. And what you need then is you need a cup of this, so we'll get back to that here in just a minute. I'll show you the other ingredients. Um, keep an eye on my coconut oil over there. The other thing that you need is some raw honey. Okay, um, now I haven't really discussed a whole lot about the raw honey thing and the benefits of raw honey. Um, it needs to be local to your area. Okay, I'm not going to ship this to somebody in Texas. Uh, why? Well, because the bees will pollinate flowers in your area and it will actually give you kind of an immunity to allergies to the pollen and things in the springtime. I heard that a couple years back. Um, it was about two years ago. Actually, three years ago. Three springs ago. Now it would be. And I was having terrible allergy problems, could not work outside. It was just, I was just sneezing and nose running and my eyes were just itching so bad. It was really, really, really bad outside. I heard the thing about raw honey can actually help with allergies. And so I started taking some and my allergies pretty much went away. It was amazing. But it was local raw honey. Very important. The next year, which had been this past spring, I started having some allergy problems again. I thought, oh, raw honey. Start taking some, same thing. So two years in a row, I proved it. It definitely does work. Um, but this is very another. This is kind of the sweetener within the uh, superfood fudge. Really, really good stuff. Um, there's when I say superfood. Another thing that I need to, to clarify here is when I say a superfood, I think it's ten categories it has to be really good in. In other words, very high in magnesium, vitamin C, or potassium, or whatever. Um, kale. A lot of people will say kale is a superfood. Kale is not a superfood. God didn't create kale. Kale is a genetic hybrid, all right, created by man. Kale is not a superfood, all right. Um, mostly, you will have superfoods coming from the tropics or from very, very cold northern environments. The plants will get, you know, a lot of energy from both. In other words, they'll get very, they'll be very, very strong in a northern environment because they have to survive this big winter, or they'll get a lot of sunlight and a lot of rain and you know, like a greenhouse condition in the tropical environment. Which brings me to the next two. Essentially, this isn't really tropical, but because Peru is not really tropical per se, up where these grow in the mountains, really high altitude. But maca root, again, another organic superfood, uh, just off the charts with all the different nutrients in it and everything else. Uh, again, I was really skeptical about some of this stuff years ago. I heard about this thing of superfoods and I just kind of, eh, whatever. Uh, it will, you will feel the difference. 
when you start to incorporate superfoods into your diet, it's it will hit on so many different levels. Again, a lot of people make the mistake of with natural health, they'll hear that echinacea will help to boost your immune system. So if you get a cold, take some echinacea. So they get a cold and they go and get an echinacea pill and they think this is going to help me. You know, it's an herbal thing and I can just take an echinacea pill and then they say, oh, it didn't really work. Um, what you need to do the way you fight disease is to prevent disease from the in the first place. You don't eat a bunch of junk food and then say, give me a cure when I get sick. No, no. It's about prevention and how do you prevent things. Well, remember a very simple little saying, you are what you eat. Okay, there was another guy said the one time, you know, let food be your medicine. All right. Um, you just stay in good nutrition. You have good nutrition in your life. You're not going to get sick. And if you do get sick, it's going to be about 24 hours and you're going to be done with it. Um, I can I can tell you I used to get sick for weeks at a time uh, with a flu or cold or whatever else and, and if I had a fever it'd be days on end or whatever else uh, now it's extremely rare for me to ever be sick for more than 24 hours usually it's less than 12 hours that I'll get something and and what I do when I get sick I'll just start eating all kinds of superfoods and whatever else and it'll usually defeat whatever I'm dealing with but this is yellow maca root I'll be right back. Let me just check my coconut oil. Yep, it's done. Do not want to let it get hot because, like I said, it can kill some of the nutrition and the other things there. But there you go. There's your liquefied coconut oil. We'll get back to that in just a minute. Um, I'll show you some other types of maca root really quickly. We have, there's basically three different types. You have yellow which we've showed earlier there's your yellow you have red maca root and then you also have black maca root okay um, these three right here we haven't opened these yet because we're trying to get rid of the trying to use up not get rid of but trying to use up the yellow that we have here and um, so uh, but they're there's so much with with superfoods. Um, again, I could, I'm, we're probably going to bring that out in another study. But another uh, really really amazing superfood is this right here. This is the basis for chocolate, raw cacao. Okay, this is organic cacao. We go through a lot of it, so we got a big bag. Uh, it's not cheap stuff. Okay, again, we're not talking about the cheapest way to make a meal here. We're talking about healthy eating and healthy living and stuff that will actually change or health that will actually make you feel really really good and not just oh that was a nice meal it tasted nice uh, you got to get by the thing of I mean the taste natural health eating is extremely flavorful very 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 good um, it's not oh it's, if it tastes bad it has to be good for you that is nonsense okay um, I'm rabbit trailing here a little bit but it's important for me to say this um, the reason that commercial foods uh, with a lot of preservatives in them, in them, the reason they taste good is because of excitotoxins that they put in there. Aspartame, natural flavors, high fructose corn syrup. It's deceiving your mind into thinking that they taste good. And when you eat natural food for years, if you go back and try to eat that stuff, it will taste like chemicals to you. Okay, I cannot, I cannot drink soda pop. I cannot eat junk food anymore. It just tastes like toxic chemicals to me. And believe me, for over 30 years, I lived on that junk food. Okay, I really wrecked my health. Important distinction. This is raw cacao. This is, it says 100% cacao. I don't trust this. It's probably genetically engineered, whatever else. Don't, don't buy this thinking, oh wow, I got cacao. It's not the same thing, right? Very important to, to understand that. Um, but one of the big things that cacao will do for you is it's, it's the highest source of magnesium in the world. So if you have joint pain, if you have muscle pain, whatever else, this will pretty much take it away. And this is also very good on headaches as well, I might add. Um, a and inflammation. Times, and inflammation, yeah. A couple times I've actually been starting to get a headache and I start to take some of the fudge here and the headache's gone. Okay. And again, it's a process. Natural health is a process. The first time I started trying natural health, it wasn't just, boom, my body's back to healthy, whatever. It takes a little while. And two of the most powerful superfoods on magnesium that you can you know, take together, and it's tremendous, cacao and chaga root. Both extremely high in magnesium. Both really pair up together. Um, 
cacao tea with superfood fudge is extremely good together. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, so, without any further ado, let's get to the recipe. Uh, let's start out here. I'm going to have to get another spoon. Um, I'll get our measuring spoons. I'll make it official. All right, first of all, you want to have four heaping tablespoons of cacao powder. So there we have one. You just want to put it in a glass bowl or like that's a you know mixing or measuring cup kind of a thing. There. One, two. Three and four. This is not a. If you haven't noticed, this is not a uh, extremely exact science. Um, if you get just a little bit, you know, a quarter teaspoon too much, then you're going to blow something up or whatever else. No, not going to happen. It's it's fine to go a little bit more. Um, not a big deal. And then what I do is I do about a tablespoon of maca root as well. Um, maca root is also really good for um, women, for balancing hormones and things like that. Really good stuff. And this gives it kind of a little bit of a hazelnut type of flavor. Um, so the two of them are really good to mix together. So there's that. Now what we do, you want a teaspoon of vanilla. So, put a teaspoon of vanilla extract in. Okay. Now, we need four tablespoons of raw honey. Okay, there's one. Two, three, and one more. Just kind of let it drain off a little bit there. And four. There you have it. Okay, take your finger and just kind of clean it off there. My hands are clean. I washed them last week, so they're still clean. I'm just kidding. That was a joke there. Probably going to be an exposed video coming out now. But you never know. Alright, next thing over there. Wash my finger off. Okay, now going to actually you know what I'll do the peanut butter first try to get this stuff out of here and of course the you know a lot of people say well you make peanut butter and then you got to add maple syrup and you got to add whatever else to try and make it taste good or whatever no you don't <laughs> um, just you know learn to eat things uh, just as they are you'll appreciate it more you got to you got to retrain your taste buds when you first get off of all the sugar junk, and um, you know you're you're basically uh, a drug addict if you're used to a lot of white sugar. Um, and again, you know I'm speaking from experience here. Uh, and there's still you know temptations come up and things to eat junk food and whatever, and and uh, thankfully I don't give into those because I know every time I have in the past. I always end up getting sick, or you get the sugar high and then the sugar low, and and your insulin levels are crashing, and you know it just this doesn't doesn't pay to mess with sugar. So now we're gonna fill up the rest of this. You can see how runny it is when it's blended really fine like that. 
Okay, there we go. All right. Get all this stuff out of here. See there? Just scrape it all out with a spatula. And we eat this stuff a lot because it's got quite a few superfoods in it and incredibly good for you. And you really just feel good after you're done eating it. It's not the same thing as a store bought candy or anything like that. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to pour one cup of coconut oil into here. Hopefully, I made enough. Sometimes I don't. It looks like about perfect. Wow. Great job, Dad. That. Praise the Lord. Yep. Pour the coconut oil in there. Like I said, you don't want to make it too hot or anything. And scrape it in there. Okay. Now, uh, we take, if you have a pie pan or whatever else, um, or an old cake pan, we have this heart shaped cake pan. Cake pan. So what we'll do here is we'll stir, stir this up real good. So it's all mixed together. I'm going to come in here and look in there and see how it's being stirred. Again, you don't need an electric mixer and a blender and all that other junk. You know, I mean, if you put it in the Vitamix, well, it's just going to make it more stuff to clean up. It actually stirs together pretty quickly. Just stir it until you don't have any lumps. Or anything. Get a little bit of exercise here so you can justify eating a few more pieces of fudge. That's right. Actually, it's not bad for you, so you can eat a couple pieces. Just don't do like our son did the first time he tried it, he had eight pieces and ended up throwing up a little bit later. You know, do all things in moderation. Okay. There you go, that's about what you want right there. Oh, no, it isn't. Never mind. <laughs> and see those clumps of, that's about what you want. All those big clumps of maca or uh, cacao. No, thought I had it. Builds character. Yep, make sure you get on the bottom and everything. Move around on the sides. You know, it's not really a big deal if you do get some clumps in there because, you know, you're just going to be eating it anyways. But cacao does not taste like chocolate, by the way. It has a slight chocolatey flavor, but it's kind of bitter. So, if, But if you add some raw honey to it, and coconut oil, and vanilla extract, and peanut butter and everything, it tastes real good. So there we go. That should do it for that. I'll just put this over here later on. Uh, find a volunteer to lick that off. Should I apply Actually, not, for a government grant first? Probably you should. Oh okay, now what you can do is um, what we like to do is if you kind of like some peanuts in it, which I showed, you know, let's see if I can show one here. Um, you can see the peanuts in it there in that piece of fudge. Okay, I'll eat that one later. If that's what you want, then what you do, excuse me, you pour some peanuts in right into the fudge, as many as you want. There you go. Um, you could also put some almonds in it. We have some almonds up there. Another thing which we've tried is here's some raisins. Okay, kind of give you the chocolate covered raisin taste. Not bad, um, it's okay. Another thing is dried cranberries. I like dried cranberries in the fudge. Uh, certain somebody doesn't uh, care for it as much. But, Stop uh, picking on me. Terrible. Um, but dried cranberries, in my opinion, are pretty good in the thing. Another option might be 
These are called golden berries. Okay, golden berries are another uh, superfood. They're not one of the highest ranked superfoods or whatever, but they're some really good stuff in there. Tropical type of berry. Um, goji berries would be another option that's another superfood. Uh, the whole point is here to get as many superfoods into your diet. Even something that you would consider a dessert, you want to get superfoods into your diet on a regular basis because it's going to give you nutrition on so many different levels and it's going to boost your immune system and it's going to help you out with a lot of stuff. Uh, again, another point I need to make is that um, I believe that the body is self-healing and self-regenerating. Uh, okay, God designed us. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I believe that there are things out of nature that can actually regenerate damage that you've done to your body. Um, again, I, I was in really poor shape in my you know, teens, 20s, 30s. <laughs> really poor shape because of just being raised on, on sugar. And um, you know, my lower back went to a chiropractor the one time and he told me my discs in my lower back were degenerating. I had terrible back pain. And uh, there's a lot of different reasons for that. I'm not going to get into it, but just from you know logging primarily, lifting heavy things and whatever else. And I used to have you know I just I, I couldn't stand up for very long because it was just such bad back pain. And uh, <clears throat> one of the big things I did is introduce magnesium into my diet, and I have very little pain anymore. So um, just try to get as many superfoods into your into your body into your system as possible. It'll really help you. All right, so now just pour it right in there. I know it's tempting to say just skip the freezer part and we'll just go right to just take a bowl and pour some in and eat it with a spoon, but you know, patience. It's <laughs> worth it. Yeah. All right, just use your spatula to get as much of that out of there as you can. Again, you might have to find a volunteer or put an ad in the paper or something for somebody that'd be willing to lick this stuff off. I won't uh, say any names here, but and uh, then what you don't want to do tell is, them my secret. Terrible. What you want to do then is stick it in the freezer, a nice level area. Right there we go, and let it go for two or three hours, and. It'll be done. So we'll see you back in a little bit after this is frozen. Okay, it's been a few hours. The superfood fudge should be done. So let's check in the freezer. Gonna grab it. We got it. And there we have it. Hold it this way. Like that. Pretty cold, but uh, there you can see it. All frozen nicely. Then you can cut it into pieces. Or you can actually, if you have a cake pan like this, you can actually just pop the whole thing out. Like this. See how easy it comes out? I'm just kidding. See like that? And you can go and, and uh, turn your computer on and watch some King James Video Ministry sermons and just spend the whole night just eating chocolate. <laughs> Uh, probably not. I don't think that'd be considered moderation. So, but might uh, get a little messy on the computer too. Yeah, you know, after a while, it would start to kind of warm up a little bit, and you'd kind of get a little bit messy. So, but there you have it. There's your superfood fudge. Real healthy for you. Not very difficult to make, and um, I really highly recommend it. That's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>